Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor and the manufacturer of Swiss Goose Industries Gold Drop, gold and ore separating processor. Well, this is the rendition with the Vortex Spinner, and uh, one of my machine shop customers who are repairing his equipment brought in a, a bucket of dirt, and he wanted me to run through it the gold rock to see if there was any gold. Well, it turns out this dirt is uh, beach sand of some kind because I got lead weights and agates out of it and classifying it down through a number 16 mesh screen. So here I'll show you what I found. These are some of the agates that were in the uh, black sand. As you can see there's really a very variety of pretty rocks. And lead weights, a couple of pyramid weights, round ones too. Those red ones. One looks like a petrified grape. Yellow and blue. And those two shiny ones, those silvery ones, they are metallic. What metallic? Well, they're magnetic. They get picked up. Pretty amazing. This is the muck that I'm gonna run through the gold drop. This is all the remnants of what screened down to 16 mesh. Looks pretty black. And, oh, let me see if there's any magnetite in it. I'll dip in my uh, spin it off here. Oh my. There is a ton of magnetite in this. Well, gold drop doesn't care. The magnetite is just like any other mineral. It's going to go right on to it. Pretty gummy stuff. This is the Gold Drop Vortex Spinner. It operates off the principle of elutriation, which is a vertical flow of water emanating from the base of the gold drop drop cell rising up into the trap chamber then being stirred around by the mechanical spinner before we run this black sand through the gold drop we're going to do a little preset here so we can figure out where our setting is going to be so this is the elutriation water here so we're going to set this at about 0.5 gallons per minute. So I'm going to reduce it down, close the valve. Right there, about 0.5 gallons, that's two liters per minute also. And then I will introduce some of the dirt to do a final adjustment. We'll also turn the funnel water on. It doesn't require much, just basically a trickle because you're already washing down wet dirt. That looks just about right. So you can see the 12 volt motor is completely covered with a rubber jacket and it's spinning that stainless steel spindle connected to those paddles spinning in the trap. The mixing valves on each side of the trap remain closed through the entire operation. The spinning paddles are what give it lift. So too, 
you can see here the upper panel is you can see it but all of the stratification of the lighter material which is basically trapped in the spin of the vortex spinners. This is our final setting. And it is 0.2 gallons per minute, or oh, about 0.7 liters per minute. And this is where we will process the remainder of the grid. Now that we're done processing, the procedure for shutdown is as follows. You increase the flow up the drop cell to keep all of the debris just inside the trap. And that way now you don't have any debris when you close the gate valve here, it's going to get trapped in the gate. Now go ahead and close the gate, unscrew the jar. Now this is where we'll open the gate and to drain the trap of any material that's in here. So there's gold in here also. So it's now empty. I close the this water valve, but go ahead and open these up just to flush out the dirt that's accumulated inside. And that is complete shutdown. So now we'll check out what's in the jar and what's in the uh, pan from the trap. See what gold we might find. Now we'll find out what was in that dirt. So let me, oh my gosh. We have a big blob of mercury. This sand has been whole ore mercury processed. That is amazing. So I doubt there's any gold in here because it's captured in that mercury. That's insane. Well, let me finish cleaning up and see what we get in the trap. Well, I can see more mercury in here. Let me see if I can gather it all up and get it to coagulate. Here's 
Here's the total amount of mercury recovered from that black sand. So now I'll dry this off, not heat it, but with a towel on the edges and weigh it up and see what the Gold Drop Vortex Spinner remediated mercury from this soil. Now we'll see what <laughs> mercury or gold that was in the trap. And we'll fluidize this really good here. And then just gently start pouring off the overburden of the big riffles. Bring it to the vertical position, get rid of the overburden. Now we'll wash the debris and big riffles back into the pan. And then now I'm going to use the spin it off to remove. magnetite it's quite a bit of magnetite in that Oh, we'll just dump it off on the table right over here and get some more. Now yeah, let's see what we got. And fluidize it. And then just very gently start pouring the mineral over the across the big riffles. This is basically level right now, or just a little bit tipped forward. Oh my, look at all that mercury. There you have it. It's really quite a good amount of mercury caught into the riffles there. Here's a close look at the little spheres of mercury that was extracted out of that soil. After I shake this up a while, it'll all combine back into its own big blob, just like the other but you can almost kind of see a, a golden hue. But maybe that's the brown of the dirt. But there's a lot of mercury there, that's for darn sure. Extracted from that beach sand through the Gold Drop Bortex Spinner. So this shows that the Gold Drop Vortex Spinner and, in turn, the Gold Drop Miner are great mercury remediators, extracting the mercury from the soil, cleaning it. Pretty amazing. This is the total 
Mercury recovered from that black sand and we have eleven grams of mercury extracted from that black beach sand. Well, that's pretty incredible. This really is a good demonstration how the gold drop elutriation technology is a great mercury remediator and also lead and other contaminated metals too, as well as gold, if the gold is there. But I bet you all the gold that was in that sand is then in that mercury. So this shows that this soil was whole or mercury processed to get the gold, is why we found none. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for being interested. www.sluicegooseindustries.com